I wanted to make this video about the essential doctrines of the Christian faith, and so to say, the core teachings of Christianity. It's so important to understand these teachings because one, you wanna know what you believe and who you believe in. Two, it's gonna give you an understanding of humanity and our fallenness and who we are in relation to God. Three, it will protect you from the false ideologies and false teachings out there. Four, it's gonna deepen your faith as God calls all believers to grow into spiritual maturity, moving from drinking only spiritual milk to nourishing with the life-sustaining meat of his word. And five is gonna help us apply what we learn in a practical sense. We're called to be doers of the word, not just hearers. Christ calls us to be witnesses and make disciples. And this is a calling to all believers, not just pastors or teachers. Welcome. So just want to introduce myself. This is Louis Cafresi Jr. And I uh, can't wait to take this journey on with you in the heart of the Christian belief, uh, exploring the core doctrines that shape our understanding and our relationship with God. Now, these teachings are not just theological concepts. They are the foundations of our faith and guiding us as we navigate life's challenges and moments of doubt. So what are the essential doctrines? They're one, belief in the Trinity. Two is the deity and the humanity of Christ. Three, the bodily resurrection. Four, human sinfulness and need for salvation. Five is salvation by grace through faith. Six, the authority of scripture. And seven, Jesus as the Messiah. And at the core of Christianity is the belief in a God who is both loving and just. A God who desires a relationship with us. The scripture tells us, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. That's Hebrews 11.6. This isn't just about acknowledging God's existence, but it's about understanding his nature as revealed in the Bible. God is a trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, and Holy Spirit. And this is a profound mystery that speaks God's unity and diversity. Jesus himself emphasizes this truth, reminding us that God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, 24. Understanding who Jesus is is pivotal. He's not just a historical figure or a prophet. He is God incarnate, fully divine, and fully human. The truth is crucial for Many have presented different versions of Jesus throughout history, versions that cannot save. The true Jesus is the one who offers salvation, who died and rose again, defeating death and sin. Paul reminds us, and I quote, And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Unquote. That's from 1 Corinthians 15, 17. The resurrection is not symbolic. It is a historical fact that affirms Jesus' victory over death and his promise of eternal life to us. Our understanding of humanity's condition is also essential. And I quote, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Unquote. That's from Romans 3.23. This isn't about feeling guilty, but it's about recognizing our need for a Savior. It's acknowledging that we are incapable of saving ourselves and that we need God's grace and mercy. This leads us to the heart of the gospel, salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God. And that's from Ephesians 2.28. And what about the Bible, the source of these truths? While you'll have some debate its role, its authority is undeniable. It is through scripture that we come to understand these doctrines and the very character of God. Without it, our understanding of God and His salvation plan would falter. We would know what God to believe and the plan of His salvation. Lastly, we come to the doctrine often overlooked yet is central to our faith is Jesus as the Messiah, the promised one who would save His people. This belief is not optional. It's foundational. This is a, this is, here's a quote. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist. It is he who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever confesses the Son has the Father also. Unquote. And that's from 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 through 23. These doctrines, the Trinity, the deity and humanity of Jesus Christ, the bodily resurrection, human sinfulness, salvation by grace, and Jesus as the Messiah forms the cornerstone of our faith. 
And they are not mere intellectual ascents, but as truths that transform our lives. They compel us to live differently, to love deeply, and to hold on to hope in a world that often seems hopeless. So in sharing these truths, we do not sit out a desire to argue or to prove ourselves right, but out of love. And we share it because we have experienced this life-changing power of these truths in our own lives. And we wish to do that to others and, and share that to others with that same joy and peace and hope that we have found in Christ. So I really hope you take this journey uh, together with me in faith and let us hold fast to these essential doctrines and allowing them to guide us, to shape us, to draw us even closer to the heart of God. Uh, and I, I thank you for watching this video and please share this and I hope we can continue to do this moving forward with more videos and maybe even connecting uh, physically somewhere. Uh, but until the next time, uh, may you all continue to grow in the understanding and the faith and in the love in God's truth. Uh, may you be blessed. Take care.